What's up guys, it's your girl Dedicated Diva and I'm back with another video. Now this video I will be talking about the homeschooling truths and it's basically about what I've been going through since I've been homeschooling my daughter and my son. If you guys don't know, I have an 8th grader and I have a kindergartner and my kindergartner, she was homeschooled from you know the point of that she started school now my son he was homeschooled in his when he got in sixth grade he's in eighth grade now and he's on his way to ninth grade now some of the things that i've heard people say is homeschooled or my kids they go to a public tuition free school online same thing to me homeschool they at home doing school <laughs> and i hate to be you know i hate to sound that way but it's just the same thing same thing now i've heard a lot of people say that it's easier on kids or the kids don't have to do any work if they're at home that's false i have sat with my son for many nights and on the weekends trying to figure out homework <laughs> for him and he have assignments like he would if he was going to a regular brick and mortar school i think people have to get out of that stereotypical thinking of you have to go to school you have to be able to go inside of a physical building so you can socialize with the people that's around you that's not always true online schooling is the exact same way especially with technology now so i wish people would actually get that out of their mind and saying that the child can't socialize that's so far from the truth there are clubs there are summer camps there are outings there are so many different ways like my son now he chat with a couple of um of his classmates through the app called Discord. And you know, that's an app for gamers, but you know, you can do a little bit of everything through there. People also say that you are you will end up sheltering your child too much. In this day and time, in 2019, I don't believe I don't believe in that crap talking about sheltering anybody. Because half of the time I leave out of the house and don't even want to leave out of the house because there's so much crap that's going on in this world. So there's no such thing as you're just, you're sheltering your child too much. Now, a couple of positive things that has came from the whole situation is my son. He wasn't that good in math at all in school. It just he wasn't horrible, but he wasn't that good. And he's getting way better at the ways that they have them to, you know, how can I put this? At the ways they have them to go by doing their homework. Now, they do have physical books and different things like that to come. They do send them to different websites. And one of the websites that I love is Khan Academy. Now anybody can get a, a um get access on to Khan Academy, and basically that's where you go and it basically breaks down math to a T. It breaks down a lot of other things, but it breaks down math to a T. You have videos showing what you you know showing you what to do step by step. They have missions that they can do throughout the year to you know to help them get better and better in math. My daughter, she's in kindergarten. She started in kindergarten. She'll be in first grade next year. When she started off, you know, she knew her basics. She knew how to count. She knew her alphabet. She knew how to read. She read a little slow, but she knew how to read. Everything is so much better. They break down the context clues, and even if now, before I say that, I went through K12.com, and that's how I got them in this public tuition-free school. 
even if you choose the route of going the private school route and you want to pay for their books and like that, you still have the ability to let them, you know, speak with instruction instructors if you would like. But you do get a physical copy to every book. You do be able to log in online to actually see what should be done and what should be finished. All around, I would just say that it made my life and my kids' life so much easier. Because when my son was in school, even before my daughter was born, I was scared shitless. Because there was so much stuff going on. It was certain stuff that my son didn't even learn in school that he was supposed to learn. Like in cursive writing. I had to teach my son how to do in cursive writing. There's certain topics that pop up. And it can be about history. It can be about anything. And my, you would think your child should know that by that grade and they never get taught that some things they totally overlooked and so I thought that this was a great way when I started off with my son on you know how to teach him because I was just a nerd and you don't even have to be a nerd you can be going into this blind just like your child not knowing what's going to go on you just have to know that you're not going to give up on your child you just have to know that you have to put your best foot forward. And in those times of where they seem like they're kind of lagging around like all of us do, everybody lag around, you just have to give them that motivation that they need to keep it moving. Everything is hard until you get going with it. Everybody has to keep learning. And so if you guys are interested in something that's like K-12, Dot com or if you're interested in homeschool go to k12.com there are even groups on facebook that's dedicated to homeschooling you can also do a google search on homeschooling now if you guys go in the description box and you guys um see that website down there the dedicated diva.com and i think it's a right next to personal website let's see let me get there while I'm talking to you guys now if you guys go to my personal website diva dedicated com and you click on the tab that say DDYT in my opinion this will take you to a page where I will show you guys different um, resources for homeschool and different sites that you can go on things to help your kids and you know just different things of that sort because don't let someone put the negative stigma in your head that homeschooling is not what a child should be doing I had the hardest time trying to I was almost in a battle with myself and wondering if I was doing the same thing and I know at that time my brother was like she is crazy but I was literally battling back and forth with myself because people were telling me that it may not be a you know it may not have been a good idea but I'm actually glad that I went along with it so if you have a child oh and another thing before I say that homeschooling is for anybody and everybody that wants to go I am so sick and tired of hearing people say that homeschooling is just for kids with problems with their health. That homeschool is just for kids with problems. That are that is not true. And a lot of kids only have problems because of other kids or someone that's bullying them or, you know, something that they're fearful of. Homeschooling is for anybody. So if you find that, you know, your child just want to go to homeschool, sit down and talk to them about it. If it seems like, you know, they may be having some type of problems if they're not that social if it's just in general let your child know that there's other ways because if you like I am when I was in school years and years ago I did not know it was a such thing as homeschool and I wish I had have known but there was no such thing then to my knowledge of homeschooling give your child a chance a lot of kids are out here taking their own lives where they can't deal with the things that's going on with them in school and they just don't know how to tell their parents about it 
let your child know that there's always a way out and help them they can sit down in the comfort of their own home and never have to worry about anything never have to worry about people pointing and picking at them and different things like that just let them know that there's other ways to do homeschooling now i will be back with more videos like this but just know that there's other ways of schooling than your regular brick and mortar school <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.